What do you think, Dad? What's not to love? Both designs are, they're fresh, they're, uh, they're vibrant, they're feminine, they have a nice edge to them, though. Congratulations, son. No, it would be a congratulations, grandson. This is Thomas's work. He designed these for hope for the future. He's recommitting some energy to the line. Ah. And to hope, too? Look at this. Look at the style lines. It's inspired, right? <laughs> Says the proud papa. I am proud of Thomas. Not just because of this, but because of what he's doing at home with Douglas. Hey, why so glum, bud? Don't you like staying here at your great-granddad's with your granddad and me? But I miss Mommy. Yeah, I, I miss her, too, bud. Um, well, hey, how about this? How about you call Hope? And you tell her you've been missing her so much and that you want to get together with her tonight. We can make a special evening of it. Does that sound cool? What sounds cool? It's Steffi. <laughs> hey, how's my favorite nephew? Oh. I mean, I'm your own nephew. That's why you're my favorite. <laughs> Where's Kelly? She's at home with Amelia. I just left the office and I thought I should stop by and check on the two of you. How you doing? Good. Douglas here is missing Hope, even though we just saw her the other night. Oh. Okay. Hey, bud. Okay, listen. Why don't you go upstairs, okay? I want to talk to your Aunt Steffi for a minute. So go upstairs and give Hope a call. You know, tell her what we've been planning. Okay, Dad. Right. Okay, tell me the truth. Is it a mistake? to accept my dad's offer, to go back and work for Spencer Publications again. Because, you know, I swore to him that I would never forgive him. And indeed, I thought that I never would. But, you know, despite the fact that we are just two different people with personalities which are almost certainly guaranteed to clash, he is still my father. And you... You have not heard a word I've said, have you? I'm sorry, I was just thinking about Douglas. And Thomas. Thank you. Right? I have to say, I'm impressed with how far Thomas has come as a designer. And how he's turning his life around. Being a father to Douglas. I think you've done the right thing, Rich. I really do. Committing yourself to helping Thomas find his life again. Your determination to get your family back together. This has been hard for you, hasn't it? Brooke, I just hope that's not permanent. I do too, oh, Dad. But seeing Thomas and Douglas, and seeing Thomas with his sister, I, I know there's a lot of healing that has to happen, but I think they're on their way. Yeah. You and Douglas are planning something with Hope? Another family night, yeah. Just the three of you? Just the three of us. Let me guess, it was your idea. Look, Hope has been a big part of Douglas's life for a while. Yeah, until she wanted to adopt Douglas and take away your own rights to your son. No, that's not exactly what it is anymore. Okay, look, Hope did some research. She talked to another attorney, and she found out that the existing parents can still maintain their rights so long as the adoptive parents agree to it. What? Are you still considering giving Hope custody? I know that you're still worried about Douglas. I know what you're going to say, that I just, I have to accept what happened. Yeah, well, yeah, Thomas took him, but he's over at Eric's with Ridge. I mean, if you honestly expect Thomas to change his mind about this, well, then... Not on his own, but... But what? What? Just... Really? Okay. It's Douglas. Okay. Hi, Douglas. Hi, sweetie. I miss you, Mommy. I miss you, too. I want to see you. I want to see you, too. But you know that that's up to your father. Daddy says we can all get together tonight. Can you come? Please, Mommy. Um, yeah, of, of course I can. You know, i do anything for you. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> Hey, Chief, uh, you got a sec? 
That's about all I got coming in. It is underway. <laughs> you, uh, you don't remember. I got a lot on my plate. What? Uh, the, the, the industrial washers. Yeah. The, they were leaving rust deposits on the garments. Not any longer. Hired a company that specializes in this sort of stuff. They're uh, pickling as we speak. The pickling? Yeah, it's a term for how you remove the rust. Yeah, yeah, Jake says they'll be uh, they'll be purring like happy kitties real soon. Yeah, at the moment, though, they're in pieces being cleaned in hydrofluoric acid. Yeah. Wait, what? I, I know. It, it's a big project. Don't worry. It'll be out of this building before you know it. Okay, look, I realize a lot has to happen before anything is decided. But for you to consider giving up custody to Hope. Shared custody, I told you. Look, I would still... I, I know pain. what you told me. But, Thomas, you are giving up every right to your son. Have you talked to Dad about this? Okay. <clears throat> Look, I appreciate the concern, but I know what I'm doing. Does Hope know what she's doing? You're concerned about Hope now? Her attachment to Douglas seems a little obsessive. If anybody knows anything about being a little obsessive... Okay, so I'm serious, Thomas. Like, I realize Hope was there for Douglas when you couldn't be, that she and Liam gave him a loving, stable home. But she had to have known that wasn't going to be permanent, that you'd want your son back, and now that's happening, and she's still trying to pursue custody? And you're seriously considering it? Daddy, Daddy! Hey! I just called Mommy! Oh, yeah? How'd it go? I told her I miss her and I want to see her. Yeah? What did she say? We're getting together tonight. Oh, yeah? Well, that's great. I think that you guys should spend as much time as you need together. Okay, so no reason to be glum anymore, right? Not when we get hooked to ourselves tonight? Yeah. So you're seeing Douglas and Thomas again. It is important to Douglas. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's important to Thomas, too. See, this this is great. I can't wrap my head around this. Like, Please not be upset, Liam. I'm not... I'm not upset with you i'm i'm concerned i mean you know exactly how i feel about you spending any time anywhere near thomas yeah well i don't like it either but if that means that... Look, i just i just need to do whatever it takes to free douglas of thomas okay see that right there that freaks me out when you start using language like whatever it takes i mean it makes it sound like there is no length you wouldn't go to to uh, can you look at me please even if, by some miracle, you convince Thomas to share custody, he's going to want something in return. And what he wants, what he's always wanted, is you. That's what worries me. That's what should worry you. And what worries me is whether or not Douglas is safe. The thought of him being raised by that man who is unfit to raise any child. And his family can't see it because they don't want to see it, but I do. I know Thomas better than anyone, so I know exactly what he is capable of. That's why I have to get Douglas away from him. And I won't rest until I do. I should get going. Amelia has a big date tonight. She wants to leave early. We have a big day tonight, too, don't we, Dad? Yeah, with Hope. Douglas, you love Hope a lot, don't you? I love her. I love her this much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I know that Hope loves you that much, too. Okay, so why don't you scoot on upstairs, put on something nice. I have a feeling that tonight's going to be a big night for the three of us. Bye, it's Stephanie. Oh, bye, buddy. So, this... Big night you're anticipating. Let's just say I'm going to come to an understanding. Over shared custody. Over a lot of things. Thomas, really hear me. You're Douglas's father. Yes, you've made mistakes. Some I'm still struggling to forgive you for, but you need to think long and hard about letting Hope adopt Douglas. Shared custody? I think you're going to regret it. Okay. Look, sis, I, I appreciate your advice, but I got this, okay? I know what I'm doing. So, so then the portable passivation crew takes the oxidized part, drops it in the pickling tank with the hydrofluoric acid, and presto, the part's as good as new. I mean, I have never seen a washer yeah, drum Jake, look so... Stop. Please, stop. 
Here's what concerns me. Dangerous chemicals inside this building. But we, we, we are so on top of this, boss. I mean, the whole site has been taped off and secured. Uh, I mean, we, we've taken all necessary precautions. And then some. You, You've got nothing to worry about. How long is this going to take? I mean, it, it, they're almost finished. Okay. Look, why don't you come down and look for yourself? It, it, it'll put your mind at ease. You know what's going to put my mind at ease? It's getting the chemicals out of here. I appreciate you guys being very safe with everything, but accidents happen. So we got to make sure they don't. Show me. I put her right back to sleep. Good. Look, I... I know that you're coming from a place of love and concern for Douglas. I know that. I just don't like that it means you have to hang out with Thomas all the time. I don't like it either. I mean, the things that he's done, I... Who is it? It's Thomas. Okay, so don't answer it. All you gotta do. I have to. Uh... Thomas? Hey, am I catching you at a bad time? No, what's up? Well, I know that Douglas reached out. I just wanted to follow up. Yeah, you said something about coming over tonight. Yeah, I hope you're not getting sick of us. I know we just saw each other the other night, but um, it would mean a lot to the little guy and to me um, if all three of us could get together again. Oh, and uh, uh, make sure to bring the custody papers. Really? Um, you want me to bring the... The custody papers, yeah. Okay, where do you want to meet? I don't know, I was thinking, um, uh, somewhere a little romantic, you know, maybe by candlelight. Why not go to the office since we'll be signing the papers? I think that would be a good place. I'd rather it be somewhere, you know, quiet, where we won't be interrupted. Well, we won't be interrupted there. I mean, it's after hours. Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, where we do this doesn't really matter, no matter where it is. <laughs> It'll be a, a big night for all of us. See you soon. Why is there so much of it? Well, there's just some very large parts that need to have thorough cleaning after so many years of oxidation. But look, once this is done, the washers are going to be better than ever. And in the meantime, just check out all the security precautions. In addition to the cruise ventilation system, we got tape, we got we got warning signs, and me and the guys, me and the guys are keeping a special eye on this 24-7. Yeah. It, it, it had to be done, Ridge. Look, I've been here for decades. I'm watching these washers hum along, but their age was beginning to show, big time. And you said yourself how the washers and the, no, the I, rust know, I know what I said. But I also know the hydrofluoric acid is dangerous, right? I mean, that's what drug dealers use to get rid of their enemies. Jake, do me a favor. Just get, get rid of this stuff ASAP. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, check this out, okay? There's the before, and here's the after. I mean, that's amazing, right? Just don't worry about it. We got it under control. Nothing bad is going to happen. How much longer till Mommy gets here? Ought to be any minute, pal. I can't wait. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, so remember, we talked about this. When Hope gets here, make sure that you tell her how much you love her, okay, and how much you want to be with her. Remember? Okay, Daddy. Hello? Mommy! Hi! Oh, my goodness, look at you, my little CEO! Hi! Wow, now that's a hug. Hi. I'm so happy you're here. No, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> Hello, Thomas? Thanks for coming. We're both excited to see you, if you can't tell. Ah. Oh, here you go. Wow. What's all this? Oh, uh, well, after we talked, I made a few phone calls and uh, decided to prepare a little dinner for the three of us. I hope you're hungry. We're having spaghetti. Yeah, he got to decide the menu, so it was either spaghetti or mac and If you want something else, I can... I love spaghetti. I love everything about spaghetti. <laughs> 
this is what I always wanted. You know, the three of us together, like a family, family dinners. Mm. Did you uh, bring the papers? Hey, I love you, Douglas. You are so special, and you have such a special place in my heart. And you've already been through so much more than any little boy should. But I'm hoping all that will change really soon. I always want what's best for you. And I want you to have the home and the family that you deserve. I hope I will be able to give that to you starting tonight. <laughs>